Commander, would you object to your captain ordering a clearly illegal kidnapping? Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to some more Star Trek in Stellaris. That is way too bright, I have to turn that down. Thank you. Okay, there we go. We may begin. Uh, let me just do that. There we go. And we have something happening with the Darcy Array um, from the intro picture, or uh, well, not really picture, but scene, I suppose. The efforts to understand the workings of the Dar Darcy Array have completely have, uh, have uh, completed successfully. It is now possible to commit the resources required to restore it to operation. The structure appears to be a cultural archive of the now extinct Darcy civilization, carrying pentaquads of data. We have found the Mask of Masaka, which is right here. And I can examine it when I click on it. The passive effect is monthly unity plus one. Technology discovered. That is completely useless, but at least I'm hoping that once I examine it, it will um, you know, it will lead to something moderately more useful. I hope. All right, let's get the Type Six photon torpedoes. Those look very interesting. Uh, A.G. Robinson in James Cook can now... Is there anything to automatically survey? I don't think. Is there a... No, there isn't. We're all done with surveys. Okay. Um... Facilitate Zindi Council Bolian League talks. Oh yeah, we're doing that already. I, I thought we were doing that already, but yeah. Oh uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, and I can't survey these things. Get, I'll get information on them anyway when, once the war is done, which should happen any day now. Uh, I mean, go and upgrade the ship. I really don't know what else to do. There's nothing to upgrade. Uh, we do have one bit of combat to do here against a... Or, uh, we did... until the Romulans decided to go away. Which is interesting. Okay, um... Demanding on occupied systems, demanding on occupied planets, demanding surrender. Uh, is it because of this? Is this claimed by anyone? Uh, oh, by the way, can I complain for a second? Of course I can. That's what I've been doing all the time. I'm kidding. Uh, well, not really. Um, here's, here's my complaint for today. The claim UI system is ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Um, so, let's say that, well, the Federation can't claim territories, but let's say for, for a minute that we could, um, for the sake of argument, right? Let's say we could claim this area around the Romulan border, right? How would I know what I've claimed? Well, luckily there is a button for me. Claims. And there you go. See, I can see what I've claimed and what I haven't, and I know that I haven't claimed anything because, uh, well, it's all X's. And if I were to be able to claim stuff, I would click here, and uh, every time I go back into claims, I would see uh, these places lit up green. So for me personally, it's easy to figure out which systems I'm going to claim, and thus, if I go to achieve war goals, I can you know, confidently say, I know what I'm going to get. The problem becomes when you take allies into consideration. The Xinti Patriarchy is going to receive 18 systems from this war. Which 18 systems? Well, those three and 15 more. What 15 more? Eh? Uh. Yes, but in order to end the war, I need to know which systems I need to occupy. Because otherwise, unoccupied systems are occupied planets, right? I can't end the war. Yeah. There is one way of doing it. Diplomatic mode. Click on the Zindi, and there you go. But the problem is, it shows you all the systems they've ever claimed. And as you can see, they're not the friendliest of neighbors. They've thrown claims all over the place. And then there's systems like this. Is it in the Romulan space or is it in the Lyran space, Star Empire space? If 
from here it's clearly in, in the latter, but here it might even be Romulan. I don't know, I need to go and look. Allies within the Lone Star Empire. Okay, fair enough. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess this works. There you go, D different claims for them, but there's, there's also a problem here. What if the Zindi Council has, for example, had claims on some of the systems over here as well? Who's going to get those systems? Aha, uh -huh. now what? Well then, there's only one way of doing things, and that's to go into each system manually. Click or not click on the system, mouse over here and then check. The Xinti Patriarchy has cl 10 claims, and, you know, hypothetically, the Zindi Council would have, like, 2 or 11 or something. And then you would calculate manually for each system. There's a better way of doing this. Claims map mode. Click on the Zindi Patriarchy. Or, uh, sorry, let me go back to Empire's map mode. Click... And you can see. Matter of fact, you can even color the systems differently in a in a striped or a color the territory color the territory differently in like a striped color scheme. Um, so if these were these guys were green, these guys were um, well, they're green also because they're the vassals. I, I admit this is a bit of a special situation, but like greens with two different shades striped out, right? For all of the systems they've claimed. Click on the Cindy Council. Same thing. If they're in a war together, I admit this is a little bit more complicated to code, but it can be done. If they're in a war together in the same conflict, the guys with the stronger um, claims get their colors over the systems and over the, the, well, yeah, the systems that they would get at the end of the war. Bob's your uncle. There you go. I understand it's a little bit complicated, but enemy how do I put this? I also think it's bloody necessary, because, uh, yeah, it's a war. It's all you do in Stellaris most of the time. I mean, Star Trek, um, the Star Trek mod kind of changes that a little bit, but in vanilla Stellaris, that's all you do most of the time. I mean, okay, you can do a pacifist run, you can do a diplomatic run, and etc., etc., but you're still going to be fighting. And, like, the vast majority of the game is based around fighting things and winning wars. Um, whether you conquer stuff in those wars or not, it's up to you, fair enough. But at the same time, like, you gotta admit this is a little bit annoying. Um, it's not that big of a deal, though. I don't, I, don't, you know, I don't personally have a huge problem with it. But, like I said, at the same time, I wouldn't mind it being a little bit more... Um, well, intuitive, let's say. But, regardless, we have things to do. I'm still bombing Xin, the home world. And there's still, I mean, look at those. Those are extremely violent explosions. I know we're targeting military installations, but... Construction complete. Yeah, I think we've killed a lot of people here. Sheesh. Uh, I don't like this one bit, Special but there's no other completed. way of... Doing this. Okay, Zindi Council Bolian League me uh, Mediation. We have actually done it. And they trust us now. More, um, all, all the sides like us more because we've ended their conflict. Lovely. Um, well, soon I'm going to get more forces in the system and hopefully I'll be able to land on the planet and take it, but. Yeah. Not ideal, let's just say. Um, there is actually another Romulan fleet forming, or, uh, well, actually two Romulan fleets forming. That is, uh, perhaps a touch unexpected that they're, uh, gonna put up a, try and put up a fight again. But, of course, it's their prerogative, they're welcome to 
Not much we can do about it, right? Um, now, what is this? One, two, three. Yeah, I can do two more trade depots here. That'd be fine. Um, dilithium manufacturing. Do I need that? Not necessarily, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it. Uh, is there anywhere else that I need more trade depots? I don't need any more trade protection, I don't think, anywhere. No. Oof, no, 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 that, that's... Sheesh, okay, yeah, trade protection is uh, infinite. Okay, fine. <laughs> We have infinite um, piracy protection. Very federation of us, yeah. We were, well, you know, for the most part. They um, oftentimes tend to, you know, for the sake of liberty and all that, they tend to sacrifice safety. Um, which I'm not saying is wrong, but all I'm saying is I, I don't re. I, I mean, I don't know. I like to think I kind of follow that as well, but maybe not as faithfully as I could. Uh, I know I have way too many resources of... Uh, yeah, but I can't trade them away. Okay, the rest is, is perfect. Um, I don't really need alloys. I don't really need much. So, yeah. I'm just gonna... Do it like this, I suppose. And... A little bit of construction. Again, tiny UI. Lifesaver. I realise I could build a few more districts around the place. Especially these like commercial, uh, industrial, or. Uh... Well, yeah, commercial or industrial. And you know what? I'm going to do that, I think. Yeah, I mean, might as well. Like, one district in each... Uh, in each planet, eh? Especially because we have a metric ton of this... Uh, what, what's it called? Give me a second. Deuterium. Yeah, we have a metric ton of deuterium. We're selling way too much of it at ridiculously low prices. I'd rather use it to build up some districts and uh, increase energy production or um, anything production, really. I don't care. Anything will do. Bit odd to have a commercial district here, but... Yeah. Well, I suppose souvenirs, right, and stuff. You can, uh, you can justify it like that. We go. Um, like an education district here, I think, because we do have a academy. It'll produce one jewelry, or it'll take one jewelry as upkeep. That's fine. I mean, these are like five percent increases to stuff that I don't really need to increase, but yeah, it'll, it'll do. You know. It'll do. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera for a second because it's, it's going to take a while to do the, the others. But I just wanted to show it a little bit. Um, see what kind of micromanagement, micromanagement um, operations take place off the prideful eyes of the rest of the citizens, I suppose. Or uh, most of the citizens. Well, you the viewers, but hey, I'm, I'm keeping it in, in context, right? Okay, so this is probably the biggest construction project in Federation history. Uh, we are building something everywhere. Uh, there's districts popping up all over the place, and it's mostly going to reduce my deuterium uh, production, which I want to do. Um, and I think a few of those are also going to impact um, Bryzine Nitrate, um, that, that whole thing in a blob um 
uh, that, that income, I suppose, but that's fine because I don't use it for anything here. I mean, I use it for farming subsidies, uh, but for that I need nine, and then that's it. I don't need any more, uh, and I can't trade for it either. So, yeah, this is this is great. Um, I'm at 100 and, well, let's call it 170 out of 200, which means I have about 30 unity points left. Um, and fleet focus is only for 10 years, so it's not ideal. Anything else I might want to pass as uh, edict is unfortunately going to be a heck of a lot more expensive. Um, though... I might want to stop with the educational reforms, because leader experience gain is fine, but... Eh, well, I'm not going to do that, because our leaders are quite mortal. Um, I mean, they do live longer, and they will continue to live longer uh, as we advance medication and, and stuff, but still, it's, you know... Um, we do need it, let's say. I mean, if we take a look at leaders... Some of them are on max level, but some aren't really, including the admirals, which isn't really ideal. Yeah, that's uh, okay. I'm, I'm I'm fine with keeping educational reforms. Okay. Um, in far more depressing and grim news, we've landed on Xin, and it's a massacre. Um, we've landed two armies, and I mean, look at this. I really thought we would do better, um, but the defenders are holding with, you know, on for dear life, basically. The ship stops directly, this is the flagship um, three-year mission to Paul. The ship stops directly in front of a space cloud. Before they can be stopped, the captain activates the transporter and beams into the cloud. Numerous lightning strikes rattle the hull, each causing more damage than the last. Before they can be stopped, the captain activates the transporter and beams into the cloud. Okay, we have to keep searching. Um, not about to let Paul die. That's for certain, but... Wow, I really didn't... Ex that, that was weird. Um, can't say I really expected that. Okay, so survey speed is kind of irrelevant. Uh, the original voyages is available. Trade value increase isn't bad either. Uh... Trained off structure star bait. Now let's go with the original voyages. And that I think, if I understood that correctly, means that I don't have type C and type F shuttles. What's the difference? Yes, very subtle. Alright. Uh -huh. this is a weird looking ship. Matter of fact, I would I believe this is the weirdest looking ship we have. Along with the Saladin. But still takes the cake. This is far more normal looking. Um, ah, but. <clears throat> we have the Ptolemy. Um, troop transport. Yeah, it's not that ideal. Where are these? Uh... Wait, hold on a second. What did I just unlock? Um. Unlocks the Proxima and Lochnar classes. Okay, maybe we need to, I need to give it a minute. Okay, well, some of the Romulans have disengaged, but our losses have been catastrophic here. Okay, band of the captain. No, we're going to keep looking. Yeah, I think we're going to win this, but it's going to be a tight squeeze. That is, gee, I mean, geez, right? Engaging enemy fleet. Okay, it's a miracle. 
After much searching, the crew are ready to abandon the search when suddenly one of the consoles displays a single letter. Could it be the captain? The first officer has raced to the transporter room and wants the chief to recombine the last to use energy pattern, hoping that the core has worked their way, worked her way, into the transporter. The transporter chief energizes and mercifully the captain materializes on the transport pod, only a vague memory of what happened to them. Okay. Ships upgraded. It's a miracle. Huzzah. Um, uh, they're engaging my disengaged forces as well. I don't like this one bit, but it is four versus two. And eh, I guess we did the same to them, but... Well, that is... I mean, we've lost most of our army right there. That is... Ouch. I do have this, though, which is going to become the second security force. Under the command of, uh, well, one of the two generals from, uh, from Zin. Colony conquered. And there we go, we got it, but boy, oh boy, I wish... There was a different way. A flotilla of civilian transports carrying Romulan refugees from the Zinti Patriarchy have arrived in our space. They have been allowed to settle on Pajem. War is over. We admit defeat says the Romulan Star Empire. And this is supposedly the best possible outcome, I mean... Okay, I... Uh... I mean, it's highly unfortunate. We have refugees from this space, but at the same time, they moved there to occupy the those territories, so really, you know, who's the refugee, I guess, is, is my question in, in some respect. Um, okay, let's go and upgrade these ships. Um, let's send these guys all the way back to Sol. Enterprise is doing Enterprise things, really. Um, Diplomatic conference available. Did I not send anyone to do that? I really should have sent someone to do that. I... Ugh. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, fifth fleet. I'm also going to go ahead and upgrade, except I can't. Ah, yes, I can't, because this is the, the old fleet with uh, the old class of, of ship. Okay, let's keep the... Endeavors. And the Endeavor and the Columbia. And go over to Fleet Manager, that's the fifth fleet, so we can now remove all of these. And replace them with more modern vessels, such as the Constitution class, the Nimitz class, and the Miranda class. Or actually, not the Nimitz class. Um, I think just the Constitution and the Miranda, right? Yeah, let's give them two constitutions and four Mirandas. And upgrade or uh, reinforce that. And there we go. Let's take a look at the borders. Uh, so the Vrangi have this weird exclave over here, which I... Oh, eh. Is it exclave or enclave? 
God, I might have gotten that wrong. What's the difference between an exclave and an enclave? Okay, uh, an enclave is territory that is completely surrounded by the territory of one other state. An exclave is a part of a state that is geographically separated from the main part of its territory by one or more states. This is difficult to understand. Um... So, like, Alaska would be an exclave. Because it's completely separate from the main body, but w what would be an enclave? Like a territory completely surrounded by the territory of another state. So does does an enclave? I don't know. This is I'm. This is way too complicated for me. It's like my my question is, what is this? Like this will be an enclave, right? Because it's completely surrounded by Zindi. And then the Ferengi space is over here. But an exclave would be something like... Like, if the Temerian Unity... Like, is this an exclave? Yeah. Like, this will be an exclave, right? Rigel would be... An exclave. Potentially. I really don't know. Because it's not completely surrounded by the Klingons. It... It's sort of just separate from, from the thing, right? That is weird to... I mean, it's not weird, it's it's perfectly normal, it's just that I don't know the bloody difference. It's complicated to... to um, yeah, and then, like, this would be an enclave as well, and then this would... See, this is surrounded by three or a two different states, so is this an enclave as well? It's really difficult to... to... Um, figure these things out, or, um, it's I, I, don't, I don't understand how, how this works, I, I would have to read more into it and find some examples, but my point being is that we've butchered the borders of the Romulan Empire, I mean, unfortunate as it is, right, there's uh, not much I can do about that, but it's also a bit of a problem here in that the Zinti patriarchy sort of annexed a bunch of Romulan territory that is inhabited strictly, well, most of, mostly strictly by Romulans. Ugh, so I mean, but okay. Nevertheless, um, I guess I'll accept that for now. Uh, you guys are going to go over there and then you're going to upgrade. And all right, I think we're done for now. Um, and I think that with this, we have now officially become the only superpower in the quadrant. I mean, look, this is the Cation Union alone is. Uh, no, but it's it's just the size. It's not about the size of the space. I think it's really different here. And regular Stellaris, you'd look at the size of an empire and you would determine its power like that. Here, it's really not that. Yeah. I mean, take a look at it. Uh, what is it? Was it relative? Empires, relative power map mode. Take a look at this. Uh, you need to not click on a system, okay. We are overwhelming to everyone. And the Klingons, who I was afraid of, also, we are overwhelming. But they are stronger, so for the Klingons, everyone else is pathetic, but we're overwhelming. And for us, the Klingons are pathetic, and everyone else, well, we don't need to really talk about it, do we? Apart from the First Federation, which is, uh, well, the First Federation, they don't, uh, they don't count their, uh, their fallen empire. Was it 200,000 power? Is that it? 400,000?
Hi. Insult. Would you like some latinum? No, they actually would accept it well. Okay. Uh, I don't know, man. This is, um, this is, yeah, what a time to be alive, right? Okay, uh, Empire map. There we go. The true administration is going to be accepted into the Federation next. After that, I think we're going to move to... I'm probably not going to move towards the Bolians and the Benzarians. I'm probably going to join their Federation and then work on... Um, work on someone else joining the Federation, I think, like... Uh, <laughs> Zindi or um, I don't know, someone bordering me probably Zenkethi maybe and just sort of grow the federation like that, but I think I've established my borders, I don't want to change them much anymore um, and I think a lot more importantly, I'm protecting all the species that I would like to protect Yeah, welcome the Trill into the United Federation of Planets. There we go. Uh, just a second though. Let's go with... Generate of Shields. There we go. So, the Trill have been welcomed into the Federation of Planets. We're going to build a Federation Embassy there immediately and... Things after that will uh, sort of happen at their own pace. Um, now, does that mean yes, it does actually. That means I can join the Federation with the Benzarians and the Bolians. Requires positive relationship. What do you mean requires positive relationship? Okay, I'm... Okay, who do I have better relations with? Because I think I can ask both of you. 231... 263... Well, I'll improve relations with both of you, because... Uh, plenty of envoys, right? Uh, and I don't need the... Oh, can't move. Okay. Uh, I don't need you to improve relations with them. Don't need you to improve relations with them. The rest of the guys can stay. So I have five free. Um... What's the word? Um, envoys. Okay. Welcome the Trill to Earth. It's, it's going to send one. How do I put it? It's like token pop, I guess. Uh, Earth is 63% human. That is honestly a little bit more than I expected, but you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or, or, or a good thing or anything, just statistics, right? I don't really care. Non aggression pact with the Temerian Unity. Yeah, for sure. That's uh, a bit unexpected. I haven't really seen many non aggression pacts, but fine. Next generation Starship technology is the Kelvin class. Already we're going to make. Um, Next set of ships completely obsolete. Yeah. Exotic matter. Exotic matter torpedo. No thanks. <laughs> no thanks. Um. <laughs> yeah. That, that sounds. Weird and dangerous and unnecessary. Complete. Uh, the Flaxian hegemony has declared war on the Medusan Corporeum. Sorry, couldn't just couldn't care less. Um, that's out there. That's not here. This is the influence of the Federation, and we have everyone we would like to have under our influence, except for these two. But we're working on that. Um. I've beaten back the Cardassians, I have beaten back the Romulans twice. The Klingons, I mean, here's the thing, and in a war with the Klingons would be interesting, or uh, rather... Oh. 
Yeah, for 12 months, that's fine. I've completely forgotten about that, it's, it's unfortunate, but yeah. Um, uh, like, the Klingons would be interesting to fight had they taken over the Holy Order of Kinshire. Maybe pushed back on the Sulaban a little bit. Fought the Sonar Command, and then sort of tried, and, and maybe even the Temerians a little bit, and sort of established themselves like that. And they would have been like, for example, if they were the starter size of the Lyran Star Empire, then this would have been an exciting war, and, and the, or the potential of the of the conflict would have been there, and maybe it would have been exciting, um, and maybe they would have been a little bit more aggressive. But the way it is, you know, they vassalize these guys, and it's just not the same, I'm afraid. Um, for them, economically, and uh, well, for me as well, in, in, in some respect, I suppose. <clears throat> Uh, but that is fine, you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that, we've had a phenomenal f run, we had a very fun run, but yeah, honestly I think this is where I should end it. I mean, I will play off camera, and if something interesting happens I'll come back with another episode, but I think this is kind of it. I mean, I wanted to go to the Age of Discovery or uh, the, the, a crisis of some sort, but... Honestly, all I need to do now is build up a few more districts here and there, and I will economically just blow away anyone that's remotely close to me. Uh, I mean, that's the other problem. No one is remotely close to me, but um, yeah, I'll just completely blow them away, and yeah. Um, not the most fun experience, let's say. I mean, I can roleplay this and just sort of, you know, castrate my fleets and nerf them completely. Construction. Um, completed. but even then, like, the, the economy behind it would be just too far off, and, uh... Yeah, I mean, is the thing. This is still interesting for me to play, don't get me wrong. Um... Because I will continue to roleplay, I will continue to integrate um, species into the Federation. There's a few more events for me to see, but we've seen most of the events, if not all of them. Ships upgraded. Again, apart from the the crisis ones, and we've Ships seen Initiating communication. all of the major conflicts. There's just not much else to do. I mean, I would have to play 90% of an episode off camera, and then Technology at that discovered. point, like, I, why not just move on to something else? Yeah, I mean that that's at least kind of where, where my line of thinking uh, is going currently mm. Oh well, uh, thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen Please like subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video and we'll stay tuned with the rest of the content that I produce on this channel 462 pops. Yeah, this is um, this has been a fun run as the Federation of Planets, but eventually we got there. We've uh, I mean we've just had too much of an easy time being the the, the police of the quadrant, uh, where anyone anytime someone sort of becomes a little bit too big for their uh, own good, the vassalized states swear fealty to us and then declare Take war on the guy and or um, on the oppressive empire and then we're pulled into the war. So yeah, I mean. You know, uh, times like these, the Federation would m probably stay more neutral than I have, but at the same time, um, I oftentimes didn't have a choice. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess this is it. Um, I could go off and, and fight the Breen or, or next, I suppose, or something, but... Oh, that's a set of knowledge, I don't need resources. But I mean, yeah, the, the, the Breen are also um, not up to snuff, let's say. I do want to check out, though... Huh.
Here's what I wanted to find out just before I leave. Is this not implemented yet or something? Unlocks the Proxima and Lochnar classes. Okay. Where? Constitution, Walker, Nimitz, Miranda. Where's the Proxima? Is it not out yet? Because we're not in TOS era yet, technically. It hasn't triggered. It might be it, but... Uh, I don't know, kind of hard to say. I suppose I do need to build another round of uh, districts. So I will do that off-camera, and I will continue to play this off-camera here and now. Um, I'm here and then, sorry. Uh, but, like I said, I've mostly done everything. I just need to integrate these vassals slowly, and... Um, I'll basically be done with... Uh, with this whole run. It's been incredibly fun, but... Like I said, there's just not that much left to do. Uh, that's going to be interesting from a viewer perspective. Um... You know, this, this will be fun to roleplay in my own sort of head, uh, possibly while I watch some Star Trek or, or something else on the other monitor, but um, for a YouTube series, I think it's, it's run its course, um, and, and we're pretty much done. Thank you very much for, watch very much for watching once again, ladies and gentlemen. I, I realise this is the second time I'm doing, I'm doing this intro, but I did get a little bit um, distracted. I will see you all next time. Have fun, take care, and bye-bye.